Hi, I'm Maggie and I will try to read this and take notes of it in one day. It's before school and I will try to read as much as I can this time. You might be wondering what I am doing. Well, the first thing you need to know is that the last time I visited the library was around five months ago. Because I borrowed these books just for a month, somewhere in February the library lady shoot me an email that it would be nice if I would return the books because one month already passed. However, at the time I was in quarantine because I tested positive, COVID stuff, so I asked for an extended borrowing period if you call it like this and she was so nice to give it to me. Just finish uh, my classes for today and let's continue reading. How am I supposed to do that? So the period was extended, I got better and it kept raining. How is that related? I have no idea. The book served very, very well as a decoration in my room for the next three months until I opened my second mail again. I said again because I don't use the one so often since I got a new one in school that I check every 20 minutes and I'm not kidding. But today I decided to delete the 74 spam emails in, in the one, you know the first one and then i saw it that email from the library i finished summarizing first book and the last point put people before your plans just beautiful so first book is done and one two three four five six six to come i opened the email sweating because i noticed that it was sent two weeks ago the email said something in this style good morning miss magdalena here is the list of the books you borrowed. Please return the books to the library or you can extend the borrowing period if you didn't do before, which I did. Hand the books back until... And the date was tomorrow. If someone would see me when I was reading that, it looks something like this. Okay, I don't wanna lie, it was worse. Finish the second book. I have to do something for school. Hopefully, it won't take me much, and I will continue with the third book. So here is my uh, snack because I'm too lazy. Uh, I mean, I mean I'm too busy, right? With reading, so it's like really quick, nothing special. And let's continue with another book. Yay! There is still the question of why would I read the seven books and don't just return them? Well, if you already didn't notice, I like challenges and this seemed like one. And those were books I was really curious about. So that's basically how this video was born. Third book is done. My eyes are sore. I'm just... I want to go to bed and I don't know what time is it. I know, wait. <laughs> I, I hit my clock because like they are very... They are... There are sound. It's like so loud, but it's eight and twenty minutes. I will cover you. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have another four books, so we will see how we'll manage that. Fourth book finished, and now I have to go with my doggo. Yes, exactly because of that. Yeah, we are going, we are going. Wait. Say hi. I'm back uh, from the walk and now let's head for the last three books. I don't know how many will I read. At least one would be great, so. What did this crazy experience teach me? Well, chapter names and overall titles are your best friends, especially if you know exactly what you're trying to find and get from the book, because you don't need to waste your time on things you don't need or don't find interesting. Another one is to have good light and good setting position. Trust me, when you are reading for five hours straight, you want to sit with a proper posture. Next would be to take notes, because I forgot more than half of what I read already, but because I made notes with catchwords that would help me to remember what I was reading about, the time wasn't wasted. And that's what you want. Hopefully. My fingers are starting to hurt and I know if it's normal, but I'm continuing. Yay! I finished fifth book and I'm very tired so I'll just go to bed and we'll see how much time I will have. Finger crossed, good night.
my sister is sleeping i have lost two books like i can do it i feel it in my bones that i can do it so let's just head into it i guess here you can notice my hand swimming through the pages sometimes i use my pen but mostly my hand whatever both help me to read faster I didn't read word after word, but I was rather catching some words from the sentences that seem important and I was building a map from the information. To be honest, it was interesting. Hard, tiring, but also interesting. Okay, so my lesson starts in a minute, but it's just the last book. I have about an hour and a half to read. Last 30 guys, 100 pages. So I'll just go through it quickly. This is like pretty fun because it has two columns and it's easier to read for some reason. So yeah, I know I said it before, but my head and my eyes hurt so much, especially when I speak. I did it. I did it. Seven or how many books? Oh, my brother took them because he's going to return them. I finished the last book and I'm so happy about that. My eyes are sore, but otherwise, I didn't know I was able to do something like this. Reading seven books in less than a day. It was less than 24 hours, so that's pretty cool. Here are my notes. Starts there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and something pages, so... <sighs> That's for it. It's done. <laughs> Return.